To cure cancer, I injected bat genes into my spinal cord. Fearing uncontrollable accidents during the experiment, I had my assistant tie me to the laboratory bed. However, an accident still occurred. A mercenary suddenly broke in, which distracted the female assistant. When she looked back at the laboratory, I had mysteriously disappeared. The assistant hurriedly entered the laboratory and found me eerily hanging upside down from the ceiling with terrifying fangs protruding from my mouth and continuously emitting hissing roars. The mercenary was completely stunned when he saw this and immediately opened fire on me, and I instantly pounced on the mercenary. Seeing this, the female assistant hurriedly closed the steel door. She kept pounding on the glass, trying to wake me up. At this moment, through the glass, it was clear that I had lost my sanity, frantically destroying everything around me and smashing cracks into the bulletproof glass window. Just then, the mercenary's companion suddenly arrived and aimed their guns at me. The female assistant tried to stop them, but was pushed down and knocked unconscious. Seeing her injured, I completely lost my sanity, broke through the bulletproof glass and rushed out. Seeing my frenzied appearance, the remaining mercenaries quickly closed the steel door. However, after coming into contact with blood, more primitive desires within me were awakened. Looking at the female assistant lying on the ground, I frantically pounded on the steel door. Soon the remaining mercenaries all became lambs for slaughter. They couldn't even see my position clearly before I took their lives. When I regained consciousness, I was shocked to discover that my once frail body had disappeared. Now my entire body was filled with strength, and my legs were also as agile as a normal person's. I returned to the laboratory full of confusion, but seeing corpses everywhere, I couldn't remember what had just happened. I opened the surveillance to find answers. When I saw the images on the screen, I couldn't believe that I had become a bloodthirsty monster. A strong wave of nausea struck me, and I began to vomit frantically. I knew I could no longer stay here, so I deleted all surveillance footage, took the remaining serum, and jumped into the sea to escape. To clear myself of suspicion, I had to destroy all the data. However, as soon as I entered the laboratory, my legs began to become paralyzed again, and my body uncontrollably craved blood. Clearly, this experiment was not perfect. There were fatal flaws. I endured my weakness and opened the refrigeration room. Inside were various fresh blood samples used for daily research. When I got the human blood, I hesitated. I didn't want to become a monster consumed by desire again, so I took out blue artificial blood and drank it all. This suppressed the hunting hunger within me. After returning to normal, I conducted a series of tests and recordings on my body. I discovered that after injecting bat genes, my body became exceptionally powerful in both speed and strength. My eyes mutated into bat eyes, and I vaguely mastered the bat's unique super echolocation ability. At this time, I seem to have established a subtle connection with bats. These dark creatures that are usually brutal and bloody actually showed extraordinary affinity toward me. They treated me like a king, all obeying my commands. 